Sometimes when you are dating a guy, he will be really into you. So he's responding well to your text messages. He's showing a lot of signs of being truly attracted to you. And then he vanishes. Or maybe you went out with a guy on a first date or even a second date and all went well. And you're actually pretty sure of that because he said, let's do this again sometime. Or maybe you had a first kiss or maybe that second pillow in your bedroom still smells a little bit like him. <laughs> but then nothing. Well, nothing is actually a whole lot better than if he goes silent for a couple of days, but then wants to meet up again. And then when you do, he tells you that he's totally not ready for a relationship, but then he wants to hook up again one week later. So what if the guy you are dating is flakier than a croissant? And did you know that this is actually pretty dangerous? I'm an author. My name is Geert. I use the pen name Brian Knox because that's a little bit easier to pronounce in English. I write about dating, relationships, tough emotions, self-development. And in this video, I really want to talk about flaky croissants. See, in a perfect world, when a man is not interested in having a relationship with you, he would say, listen, you're not really my type, so please leave me alone. The end. Or maybe he will say, yeah, so I would rather change smelly diapers of baby orangutans for the rest of my life than to spend another second with you. Kind of painful, but at least it's honest. It's easy to get closure then. Most men, however, will not be that honest. They may, for example, choose the path of ignoring you while hoping you will still get the message by not sending a message. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, right? Now, some women do this as well, of course, but still here, at least you will be able to get some closure pretty quickly. Other men will choose a totally different path. They ghost you, but then they come back. So one day they seem really interested in you. They are really into you. They're sending you very loving, very flirty, very affectionate messages. They want a new date with you. Perhaps they even talk about starting a romantic relationship with you, but then they ghost you. And just when the smell of his deodorant is starting to fade in your bedroom, ding dong, he will be back. <laughs> kind of strange because it will seem like he just doesn't know what he wants in his love life. One day he says he truly wants a relationship with you and the other day he just wants to be a bachelor. And you may be left wondering whether perhaps you should try harder to make that relationship work. Maybe you should start playing hard to get to reel him in. Well, in reality, he knows very well what he wants. Someone else. But because someone else isn't there yet or rejects him, he goes to who is available. To him, it's a lot better than nothing on a lonely night. Now, this guy is actually the most dangerous one because he will trap you. He will get you hooked if you don't actively prevent this from happening. Let's talk about an interesting experiment and let's see how you would feel if this were to happen to you. Let's say that you are walking past the house one morning on your way to work and there's a woman who all of a sudden gives you a $100 bill. She opens the door and for no reason she says, here, $100, great. The next day, you get another one. The third day, another $100 bill. And this continues for 18 days straight in a row. But then, the woman is gone. Four days go by, no woman. So walking past that house no longer results in you getting $100. If this happens, you will probably think, okay, kind of sad, but this has now ended. So there's no need to walk past that house anymore. Now here's a slightly different scenario with a very different ending. You walk past that house and the first day you get $100, the second day as well, but the third day you get nothing. The fourth day, still nothing. But the fifth day you get another $100. Nothing the sixth day, nothing the seventh day, and so on, the good news. The eleventh day you get another $100. This time it's a little bit different because the amazing feeling and the reward are all of a sudden variable. So you kind of learn that even though it may seem gone, it can still come back at any time, but you just don't know when. The question is, will you stop walking past that house now, even for one single day? Probably not, because you never know when you may get another hundred dollars. So you will be hooked. Walking past that house may now all of a sudden become a very important thing that you want to do every single day because sometimes it makes you feel amazing and just a little bit wealthier. This is how social media became so big and why casinos and gambling, for example, can be so addictive. Variable reward. And a scientist named B.F. Skinner has even proven this scientifically using pigeons. 
Mir Eel wrote a very famous book called Hooked about this very principle. This is really addictive and it's really difficult to let go. To, for example, no longer walk past that house anymore. So when a guy is flaky or when he ghosts you on and off, which also means he's making you happy on and off, you may get addicted to him. You may get addicted to that relationship. Whereas if he just tells you that he's no longer interested, then it's easier to get closure because at least you know it's done. You can leave it behind you. So this is the part I want you to remember. If something makes us happy on and off, we may keep going back to it because we don't know how to stop. We are looking for that new euphoric moment of happiness that may come at any time. Our brain is addicted to it. And this is why some people may stay in a bad relationship that still has some occasional moments of happiness. If it would be bad all the time, it's much easier to leave. But if it's an emotional roller coaster with a lot of bad moments, but some moments of happiness, oof. So what's the solution then? Well, it's realizing that you are on that roller coaster. That you may be addicted to that relationship and that what you are feeling may have nothing to do with real romantic love or him being the right guy for you. And if you understand how this principle works in romantic relationships, you will also start to see that the guy that ghosts you on and off will seem much more attractive than the guy that makes you feel happy and loved and secure every single day in that relationship. Because a loving guy eventually becomes boring the relationship will be a lot less exciting because it's predictable. Well, I want to make this video to reaffirm that true, real love is predictable. There is no roller coaster. But I personally believe that a lot of people can confuse that addiction, that insecurity, that excitement for love. But this isn't love. It's a trap. And even though we may get addicted to it, it doesn't even feel good, does it? So I hope that if you are ever dating a guy who starts to ghost you on and off, or if you are ever in a relationship with a guy who's really into you one day and then totally ignores you the next day, treats you really well one day and then not so well the next day, and you start to feel more attracted to him, you may even realize that you can't stop thinking about him, I hope that you will then remember this video. It's not love. It's not romantic attraction that you will be feeling. It's just getting hooked. This was a short video with what I believe to be a very important message. You can visit me on brianknox.com if you want more tips to get a better love life, to get a better romantic relationship. My books and my audiobooks, they are on Amazon. You can type my pen name, Brian Knox, in the search bar. I will put links to everything in the description underneath this video as well. And I want to thank you for watching until the very end. I hope to see you in another video.